548 right now, there's an awesome effort happening now, providing gifts to hundreds of Gold Star families across the country. Yeah, this morning, T.A. Walker is shining a light on how first responders will lead the way for the FedEx fleet to deliver, gosh, this is impressive, 10,000 presents to families of fallen military members. Wow, T.A. Uh, and we should point out, this is across the country. Yeah, this is cross country, 900 Gold Star families. Uh, Elvis, if you could sort of show that part of the warehouse first, you can see that they have boxes ready to go. FedEx is coming later this evening. Lietta's here, she's the CEO, and there are just tons and tons of boxes that you guys have collected gifts for and are sending out today. That's right, 2,000 children who've lost a parent serving in our military will get a box full of Christmas joy, thanks to your viewers and to people all across the country that have helped make this happen. Now, I know when we met up with the Freedom Four Miler, that's kind of one of the places where uh, you began collecting Christmas gifts and you're collecting year round. So even if well, somebody wants to donate today, it's still, you know, relevant. It is never too late. We're so thankful we have this lovely warehouse facility here in Palm Beach Gardens. And so we're able to take donations all year long. If your viewers are hosting Christmas parties, it's a great thing to say, yeah. hey, bring some toys to the Christmas party and you can donate them and we'll begin to organize them by For age, by age, by boys, girls, this, that, or the other, and serve those families next year's Christmas. That's awesome. So there's a box right there, Vaughn. What's the story behind the Vaughn family? You know, this is a, this is a fantastic story. So the Vaughn family, this was one of the first Gold Star mothers that I ever met. She's local here in Martin County. She lost her son, Aaron Vaughn, who was a Navy SEAL. And uh, it was after meeting Karen and hearing her story and seeing that after such incredible loss, she still had incredible faith, great joy. It wasn't more than maybe a year later that we decided we were going to provide Christmas gifts. So it's really neat to see this box see here box going there. to his kids. Yeah. And I kind of want to take you guys through a box. When they open up their box, uh, this family is two teenagers. They get an American flag. Uh, they get a little postcard with the person that packed up the box for them. And then you see this gold star tissue paper, which I think is great. There's some... Uh, Holy Bibles that are here, the NIV editions, and uh, they, these are teenagers, so they got more expensive, smaller things. Yeah, right? they probably wanted earphones or something like that, so we send those in a smaller box, but still the burlap sack. Yeah. You know, when we started this, we were hand wrapping every gift. <laughs> That's when we had 168 children, but this year was 2,000 kids. It was it, We moved a few years ago to doing these burlap sacks, and it's so neat because the families keep the sacks. And they say, oh, I, one kid, I use it for my laundry in college, you know, whatever. Right, it doesn't right. matter, but, but it's a really neat thing. Yeah. Really quickly, all these guys over here are volunteers that have wrapped up gifts. So wave to the audience, everybody. Uh, Holly and Ashley, it's uh, going to be a big day here today at 5 o'clock. About eight FedEx trucks are coming to empty this warehouse, and we're we're hoping first responders are going to lead them to their facility to send these gifts across the country. Back to you. I got to tell you, this is what the season is really all about: giving to others and just spreading that goodwill. Yeah. What an awesome community effort, TA. Thank you. Thank